Hi, my name is Carlos Zakarian with NetFocus Technologies. In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to upgrade EagleSoft version 19 to EagleSoft version 2120. To proceed, we need to make sure that we have a complete backup of our EagleSoft database. First, make sure everybody's logged out of EagleSoft on the workstations, and then come to the taskbar on the server side, right click on the Patterson server and select Stop Patterson Server. You should see a message box appear telling you that the services are stopping. You should also see the Patterson Server icon turn to red. If we double click on this, you should see that the services have stopped. Next, we need to make a backup of our database. So, we'll go to this PC. We'll go to C drive. We'll go to EagleSoft folder. We'll go inside the data folder. Highlight these four files. Right click, copy. We'll create a folder here called database backup. Right click and paste the four files in here. Once we have a complete backup of our database, we will right click on our installation program, select run as administrator, and this will unzip the actual executable file and you'll be presented with a menu Go ahead and click on the Install EagleSoft option and you'll see that the loading and the Patterson EagleSoft Install Shield Wizard open up. You may see this message saying that the operating system is not supported. Click OK. Put in the serial number for your office select the option I accept the terms of the license agreement and then click next. On the next dialog box you will see that EagleSoft will install in the C backslash EagleSoft folder. For the install as server and workstation is selected. We want to make sure that the checkbox for startup server at boot is selected and then we want to click on the install button. You will notice that the enabling windows.net 3.5 will begin installing in the background. EagleSoft will now begin installing the program. After the program installs, you will see this dialog box. Click on the finish option and the system needs to be rebooted. Click on yes. You will now begin to see that EagleSoft is upgrading the database. This can take some time for it to complete, so be patient. Pay attention to the upgrade status bar right here. You'll see that the upgrade is in progress, so this will also take some time to complete. Once the database has been upgraded, you will see that the upgrade status bar changes to upgrade successful. This completes the upgrade process for the database. Go ahead and close out the dialog box. Once the EagleSoft database has been upgraded, we need to verify one other step, and that is to make sure that the administrator account is running for all users. Right click over the Patterson EagleSoft icon, select properties, go to compatibility tab, go to change settings for all users. Make sure that there is a checkbox for run the program as an administrator. Click OK, click Apply, click OK. That concludes the installation for the server side.